They may not be the most flashy of animals, but saving the humble water vole from extinction has become a race against time. Their numbers are down 90% compared to a century ago, and here in Devon, there are barely any left. That's why the Environment Agency has been carrying out managed releases of hundreds of water voles on riverbanks across the country to try to re-establish them as the familiar site they once were. What's going into each pen is a family group, usually a male and female and, and their offspring, and that's to make sure they're not going to fight, as it's quite a, a small confine, even though it's for only for a few days. And then once they're out of that, they'll spread out and um, set up their own territories along the bank. Once they've released the voles onto the riverbank, of course, the problem is keeping track of them. But they've come up with an ingenious way of keeping tabs on them using a microchip, which they insert into the scruff of the neck. And there are scanners on the riverbank. So each time a vole passes by, this happens, and they can scan which is which. Down by Devon's River Axe, vole expert Alistair Driver told me there are a number of reasons the voles have been struggling. The main problems for water voles are loss of habitat, we've drained a lot of our wetlands, we've built developments on top of them. That's driven water voles out, it's led to populations being fragmented, being broken up so they can't then mix and interbreed. American mink were introduced for fur farming, they escaped in the wild, they decimated our water vole populations over a period of 50 years or so. Those involved in reintroducing the animals to Britain say it's now or never for water voles, as without swift action, ratty could become nothing more than a cute illustration in a children's storybook. Catherine Jacobs, Sky News, Devon.